bro, man, we're we're in here in the podcast today to talk about a ill matic booting trucking towing company over here, bro. In in Memphis. Because it seems as though that this company been been doing the damn thing to hustle and get over truck drivers for a little bit. Uh, they they got people going to jail for assault. They got people uh, uh, finagling money out of the driver, and then finagle more money out of the driver when they actually lift the truck. <laughs> This uh, company, what is it? A1, A1 Hauling and Towing out of Mississippi, Tennessee. <laughs> Mississippi, goddamn. Memphis, Tennessee. They doing the damn thing over in Memphis, bro. In particularly over there, as we call it, the strip over there. Kelly G in the building. Wow. So yeah, what's up? What's so, up? So what so you sent me this article, man, and I sat back and I read it. And uh and uh, bro, it's it's crazy what these what, what these guys are doing. So uh it says that men are charged with theft for illegally towing a big rig. This was one of the many stories from the same uh, outlet, but it's pertaining to the same company. It says two men are facing charges of theft of property, police say, when they illegally booted and tried to tow a big rig from a truck stop in southwest Miss, uh, Memphis. Uh, this was a couple of nights ago. It is the latest as well as the fourth time a truck driver has been targeted in the city in the last few months. Memphis said that the truck driver called the officers to Etzon on Holmes Avenue after his 20 19 Freightliner was booted and hooked up to tow while he was inside the store for no more than 10 minutes. There's a sign. <laughs> there's a sign on the door on this picture that says, yo, park at your own risk. Bro, this is at a truck stop that says park. At your own risk. Oh, ain't that wild? <laughs> ain't that wild? <laughs> oh, truck driver said the tow truck driver also pushed him to the ground while he was on the phone with Five O. Police says Rufus Nelson with A One's towing and. Gary Rose with S line truck parking. So two different outfits working up under the same umbrella, I guess. I don't mm. know. I don't know, but they said they was arrested after they refused to drop the 18 wheeler from the tow truck. The victim told officers that he was only in the gas station for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, bro. 10 minutes. That's all it takes is 10 minutes to slap a boot on the truck and come over there and slap it on the tow truck. These guys moving quick. They got that antennas up. Do, 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 do. Not parking. No parking. Didn't pay for parking. Let's get them. Yeah. 
Let's get him. We got another one. Get him. We got another one. What's the name of the company? S-Line Truck Parking. I'm assuming they the ones that put the boot on the on the truck first. And A1 is the towing company that comes and swoop it up. So they got to be up under the same umbrella. It, 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 just, it just sounds suspicious that they got the boot and the tow truck within 10 minutes. The driver came out, and when he saw that there was a boot on his trailer, he was told he would have to pay $256 to get it removed. The victim said that he agreed to pay. Like, yeah, bro, I don't know why, because you was only in the truck stop for like 10 minutes, but I guess you didn't want to argue because these two guys are armed to the teeth. With bulletproof gear on, like they ready. I can understand Memphis is 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 tough, bro. But yeah, so the victim agreed to pay, but the tow truck driver of A one said, "Bump that! I want some more money out of you." What he decided to do is lift the truck up off the ground. So being that he lifted the truck up off the ground, he said the price changed from $256 to a cool $500. Mm. What, can, what, what, what can you do, Kelly? Kelly, what, what, what can you do, yo? You, you was told to get the boot off for $256, but now the truck is off the ground, and in order to drop it, it's $500 altogether. What would you do in that situation? Right quick. At that, at that point, man, you call 5 0. You call 5 0, man, because, you know, now they're trying to scam me because, yeah, you, you tell me one, and I say, okay, and you go ahead and jack it up anyway, and I'm like, no, 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 I'm on five. Yeah, no, nah, I'm calling 5 0 on your ass now. All right. There was signs beside the gas station that says no free parking for truck drivers. That's crazy. I mean, if I'm going in there to spend some money, well, well, let, let me get to that part. Let me get to that part. Hold on, lockout. A clerk inside the gas station says the truck drivers who buy gas and food are not required to pay to park. Okay, okay. So if I'm in there, I got the receipt. So I come back out to my truck. I see my truck hooked up. I see it's booted, but I have a package in my hand along with the receipt. I show these guys, should that mean that they should drop my truck and unboot the truck, right? Uh, that's what I would think, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, what if, what if we just go in there and use the bathroom then then now we, we we can't use the bathroom now like we can't stop for a hot minute to use the bathroom with fear of a1 coming to uh boot our truck and 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 swoop it up and take it away is that possible to get scammed like that for just going to the bathroom so we can't so we can't go to the bathroom, Kelly? What's what's the deal, bro? Man, don't tell me that don't sound crazy. <sighs> Police also says a city ordinance requires the boot to be on the vehicle for 24 hours before the vehicle is towed away to give the owner a chance to pay a fifty dollar fee. Okay. Okay. So if it's just a what a, a fifty dollar fee to get the boot removed because they over there talking two hundred and fifty six dollars, bro. So. And you can come get your towel from Tremont, big boy. Right, that's that's what's crazy to me, man. Those numbers are, you know, 
uh, everybody's numbers ain't adding up. They ain't the same. The math ain't mathing over here. We we looking at fifty dollar right. fee, two hundred and fifty dollars. So and so actually, it's fifty dollars. So the 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 tow truck drivers is pocketing the extra two hundred and six. That's that's what we looking like here. Yeah, Man, this is a, like, ain't it? this is a hustle that I should have been in back in the day <laughs> when I was a hustler. <laughs> I should have said, forget them CDs and DVDs. I should have been in a boot game. They say Man. you could. They say you could get this offline. Like, yo, go, yo, go online and and get a couple of boots and probably set up in a in an abandoned parking lot or something like that. And just say, hey, you know, I'm with uh, such and such a one towing uh, to get the boot off is two hundred and fifty six dollars. Is that is the drivers that's not knowing about this situation? They're not going to question me. They just going to be like, okay, well, I, I got a boot on my truck. I'm not supposed to park here. Let me go in here and get the boot off, and we'll just go on about the business. I should have been in that. You know how much money I should have left the music alone back in the day. I, I should have left that alone. I should have been in the boot game. I was in road service. I I should have added that to my repertoire. Like, yo, you know, you got illegal cars parked up in here? Yeah. Hey, let me go ahead and slap a boot on that bad boy right quick and get a couple of get a couple of grand out of that. Man, what's up? Where 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 was I thinking back in the day? Man, over the few over the last few months, police have made several and I do mean several uh, arrests in similar incidents involving truck drivers and A1's tow truck drivers. In one instance, investigators said a tow truck driver was physically removed from his vehicle by armed men with guns and his tractor trailer was told to A1's lot on Mallory. Let's fast forward to that situation right quick before we jump back to this one. So, arrest was made after two men, after two truck drivers are carjacked or truck jacked in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee has charged three men in two separate truck jackings involving semi-truck drivers in Memphis. In both instances, included A1 towing. Both, in mm. both instances, the truck driver says somebody booted their big rigs, forced them to pay a fee, pulled them from their vehicles, took their trucks. The first truck drag truck jacking happened April 16th at the airport area, right over in our favorite area, Lamar. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. Lamar, where we call the strip where where they come knocking on your door one after another. But to my understanding, Kelly, you tell me that the two pilots and uh, and the Mike's truck stop is no longer there. Tell to me, no, bro. Sir. Uh, I, I know as of about a year and a half, going on two years ago, um, they're bringing up Interstate 22, which is old U.S. Highway 78, which is uh, Lamar Avenue. They're bringing, supposed to be bringing it all the way up to 240, and they needed to, right there at that uh, interchange where Lamar or 78 crosses Shelby Drive, where all the three of those truck stops was at, uh, the state of Tennessee and the city of Memphis, they needed that. And from my understanding, um, they couldn't come up with a uh, favorable solution for the truck stops. So the state took it over in imminent domain and closed down all three truck stops and is using that as for the expansion where they're going to put the uh, entrance and exit ramps at and the uh, crossover for right there. So I smell like bacon with that big ass pig all over me. But hey, it's all in a day's work. Taking it back to Tremont. Give me my 250. Woo. Lost lost three. Yeah, quite quite a bit of parking. That that was 
that that's that's a uh, that's a huge blow to us truck drivers, especially when parking is Man, is yeah. is real sketchy. And parking in that area now is is becoming much more dangerous because the two pilots was kind of secured and that and that mites was okay but the two pilots was a little bit secured now you only got that little loves which is a piece of s over there uh the park a little bit west of there though they have thrown up a couple truck stops because down here on holmes road where this the first instance took place at, um, they, they put up a couple, um, Amazons and stuff down there. Cause I've been to them. So they got a, they got a little mom, Paul truck stop there. And then, um, a little ways down, I think on, uh, Winchester there, they got a, not Winchester. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Shelby drive a little ways there. They got a couple more truck stops, maybe about 10 or 15 parking. But when you look at it in the big scheme of things, between just those two truck stops right there, they don't even calculate for how much parking was at one of those pilots. And we're talking about two truck stops. Yeah, and these mom and pops over here, you know, being that they are private property, and I understand us truck drivers should always say, man, we should not be being charged to park, but this is their own property. So the one, dry, the one company even got a sign up there that says if you don't, Hey, park at your own risk and you would end up with a boot and a one towing on that ass back at it man they said this uh driver pulled up in the lot of 3400 of lamar avenue the strip to allow his clock to reset he said a man put a boot on his truck and demanded $265 to remove it. The truck driver said, cool, I'll pay it, bro. I don't want no smoke. He said he paid the fee. Receipt came through and everything. But he said that the driver or the man that put the boot on said he never received the payment. How is that possible, bro? If it's on my end showing that I paid you, I don't understand that, but let's continue. He says, uh, he says the man told, got a hold of some security guards to remove him from his vehicle while the truck was booted. The victim said the man was armed to the teeth and physically removed him from his truck and had A1 tow drivers to come and drive it away. They took it to the block of West Mallory, which was in their yard on July 18th of this year. Ooh, man, they jumping. Another driver said he was parked at the Shelby Express truck stop on Chevy Shelby Drive when several armed individuals put a boot on his truck told him that he had to pay $265. The driver said the dispatch made the payment through the app, but the men says that it wasn't fast enough. What? You mean to tell you you, you mean to tell me I got to I got to be quicker than that. I don't have state farm, but insurance find me money. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Oh. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. <laughs> Ooh, you gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> the man says one kicked him to the ground to get to I mean to get him to the driver's seat while another person hold them down and they hooked up his truck and towed it away. The victim told the police after he received the receipt, he got the receipt for the boot. So obviously these must be one in the same. It's got to be. Yeah. It got to be one in the same. He said that at the tow yard, the tow company required him to pay an additional two thousand five hundred and thirty-five dollars to get his semi truck back the same night. 
Uh, the truck dri- the truck driver identified one of the men as the one that assaulted him. They also got arrested for simple assault. Let's go back to the current situation. So old school, uh, Henry Foster, he said he was driving trucks for over 40 years and he was up at the at sign homes express tuesday where they got the sign on the door that says park at your own risk he said he heard about the crimes and is glad that the semi driver involved the police i'm kind of glad too man because that's that's crazy that's crazy he says you know you got crooks everywhere trying to get over on people and it's so sad that we get that and i'm glad the police arrested them and I hope it put them all out of business. This is shady business practices right here. This is too shady. This this company, what are they what are they doing? Are they employing thugs over there? Well, I, I can understand, you know, you, you want to be protected and everything, but you're not using the weapon as as protection. You're using the weapon as intimidation. Yes, as a form of intimidation. You, yep. Yeah, you're using the weapon. You're not giving that. You're not giving that driver no choice. I mean, you you coming up there with tactical gear on, and you you lift up your shirt and say, "Do something. Either pay." Either pay me money, or if you do something, I'm going to put you down. So you trying to tell me it's either my life or to pay you. What What is this company? So the, the news network reached out to the company, A1, and lo and behold, they don't have no comment. None? Are you serious? I mean, you're in the news for the last couple of months with thugs over here scamming drivers so what is the practice over there what is the practice man i you know us truck drivers is out here trying to make a living we trying to we trying to 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 you know get the 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 products to these people without having a problem with guys trying to scam us and it seems as though that this scamming with the booting is 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 statewide because i just did a story with uh with my mans uh getting hemmed up at the walmart well we can well i i know you drivers gonna say in the comments about walmart so i I get it. I understand. But still, though, you know, if if I'm in the truck or if I'm in the in the uh, store for no more than 10 minutes and I come back out to my truck and I see a boot on there, that's a scam. That that's not that's not uh, doing your job. That's you're scamming. You, you, you're you're trying to get you're trying to hustle money out of of the driver. And that's and that's BS, man. That's not cool. That's not cool. I understand you got a job to do. I understand you you want to make money out here. We all trying to get rich, and that's what you're trying to do. But this is the what this this is the wrong way in doing that. It's the wrong way. It's the right way and the wrong way in the doing. You know the hustle business. I, you know, and this is coming from a hustler. So. After the arrest of A1 truck drivers in April and July and now, how many do y'all have any other truck drivers left? Man, that's do y'all have shit, because man. in April because in April you got three, in July you got another three, and then right here you got you you got, you, two, you got more. two more. So do you have any other drivers? That's uh that's that's working for you? How how are y'all still eight in drivers in three instances? How how y'all still in business, bruh? Well, empower yourself and don't hmm. need them and do it yourself. How fact, you did take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, working. man. How are y'all built well they they said that the that the court would be 
will be shortly. Again, the news out, outlet tried to get a employee of A1. They said a woman answered the phone, but hung up on them. Like, no, we ain't got no comment. Click. So, mm -hmm. according to court documents, uh, district attorneys already got the ball rolling against Rhodes, Nelsons, and the other six dudes that was uh, doing this scam. They said, Memphis police said that legal advisors was also advised because of the on going problems with a one towing out of mississippi mississippi why do you say that memphis, memphis tennessee over there in the lamar area the strip man we got a whole bunch of uh uh, uh activities going over there for truck drivers for the hustlers we're gonna be booting trucks and for the women, they gonna try to be they they gonna try to hustle the truck drivers. I was a witness Man. to one of them. A truck driver was next to me in uh on Lamar Avenue back in the day, the mice truck stop. And uh he opened up the door to one of the uh one of the uh lot lizards. And they stole his wallet, ran off, jumped in the car and ran off the dude, you know, young Jack. I think he was a foreigner, came back over to my truck and I, I seen it. I was wondering what was going on because he was chasing after her. I said, bro, you OK? No, nah, she took my wallet, had my had my T card in there, my my money, my ID. Yeah, he was kind of he was kind of stuck there for a minute. I'm not sure. Uh, what was the outcome of that? Crazy. Stuff that goes on over there. I also did a story about a young man getting jacked at the chicken joint. I talked about that. And, uh, and yeah, Lamar Avenue, man, that's a1 towing I mean I mean it, it, it's 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 crazy you know we all we all been a victim you know uh of 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 booting tactics uh I listen I am a proponent of private property if we're not supposed to park on the property if we don't pay or anything like that then yes the, the, the property owner is in all rights to either have your truck towed or a booting company come over and boot your truck. I get that. But but in instances like this, a driver just going into the shop for no more than 10 minutes for whatever, either using the bathroom or even buying, uh, you know, buying stuff and come back out to his truck within 10 minutes nah that's that's just that's just a outright scam right there outright scam and 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 us drivers you know what what can we do man i mean you know other than getting the cops involved in this situation right here in memphis you know the cops actually done something and Right. Uh, in my guy situation in North Carolina, they they can't do anything. They said that the the booting companies, the towing companies, they could charge whatever they want and get away with it. So, is this is this different in every city? Because I know we got I know we got issue parking issues up in New York as well because they. You know they get booted up there as well and it is worse it's worse in georgia it is worse Ooh. down there i mean they Man. got they got they got boot girls that'll come out for 50 dollars and take a boot off your car or truck for that Man, they so bad 
they so bad in Georgia, man. They walk up to you like, hey, bro, is that your truck? You be like, yeah, okay, click, click, put the boot. Oh, you got a boot now? Hey, you just that quick. <laughs> bro, man. man, let me tell you the story of a truck driver. Let me tell you this story of the truck driver. A truck driver, one of us. Hold on. One of us was out there in the parking lot booting cars. Like literally, I like I said before, you can go online and order these boots. And 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 you can set up and 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 be a bogus boot company and 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 hustle some money. Maybe you can get away with it. Well, this driver did a few times. He was a driver. He saw a couple of trucks parked along the sidelines right there. He saw it, took the opportunity, slapped the boot on, knocked on the door and said, hey, bruh, ain't no parking here. Need to uh, need to give me about $250 and I'll take the boot off. Couple of drivers, you know, they, 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 uh, they did it. But another driver, of course, called the police and i believe that this story is out of georgia i'm not sure but um but the police came they looked around they couldn't find the guy the guy actually had to had somebody to come and saw the boot off because the dude was not around but the police happened to come up on a truck where the dude was actually in his truck they mm. they pulled him out of the truck and they had the uh had the equipment for the booting in the truck bro he, he was uh he was a truck driver what do you what do you got what's your thoughts on that man truck drivers hustling truck drivers man that's that's unheard of what, what do you say about man, that man? that's a cat that's a truck driver by name only that is it. It's just by name only, man, because he's a straight up, I ain't going to call him no thug, but uh, he's a straight up street person out here trying to get his illegal hustle on the best of his ability. And he's uh, using driving a truck as a facade to help facilitate his racket. That's crazy. I ain't never heard of no mess like that at all, man. Man, that, man God, that's crazy, bro. Man, freight rates must be real bad if you have to if you have to resort to uh, boot hustling, bro. Man, man, that that listen that that sounds like um, I used to live in Memphis. I lived in Memphis for about ten years, and. Um, you got a joint, and you know all your listeners, man, that they know about Memphis. They know what two hundred one is. So you got two hundred one popular. Anytime you got to go down there for court for anything, man, it ain't necessarily got to be criminal, but you got to go down there. And parking downtown Memphis is at a premium, man, and they charge some astronomical prices. But right up the block, about two blocks from uh, two hundred one popular, there was this uh, old school radio. I mean, old school uh, record store called Pop Tunes. And right across from Pop Tunes was a, uh, I think it was a Tiger Mart gas station. So cats used to park up in Pop Tunes parking lot or Tiger Mart's parking lot and walk down there to the courthouse. Now, mind you, there are signs that says parking for customers only. It doesn't say no parking. It says parking for customers only. Illegal parking will be ticketed and or told. Now notice what that says. There was instances that was all over the news down there in Memphis when it was happening, where people would park and pop tunes, and by the time they get across the street, a tow truck had already hooked up to their car. And they was running there, you know, boom, they run up on it, you go chasing after the dude will pull off. He wouldn't even talk to you. They got spotters, bro. Let me let me let me tell you how it works. <laughs> Cause I was a spotter, uh, you know. So uh, of course, you know, I was in the roadside game, uh, you know, tow trucks and stuff like that. Also worked for this company that did a lot of repos. Um, basically, what we'll do is we'll 
We'll go in the area, say like McDonald's or something like that. And I, you know, I, I, I know about it, but this is not what, what our practices was when we, when I was a spotter, you know, we was actually going after repossessions. So we would have to, you know, set up at, uh, at the places of business where they work at or whatever, whatever. And I had to be out there and be on the lookout for the car, but they do have spotters for, you know, for uh, for tow trucks like the McDonald's or 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 private property. They will have somebody come outside, be like, "Yep, right here." You know, relay the information via text, or you know, they probably have one of them nets tails. Toot, toot. I had a nets tail back in the day, and it, you know, it was. Toot, toot. You know, let them know that, hey, cars over here, bam, bam, boom. And, yeah, you're right. Tow truck is right around the corner. Come around there, swoop it right on up. Now, in those instances, they would give the opportunity to, you know, pay the 250 to drop it or $800 at the, at the yard. But what you're saying is these people ain't even giving them that. Man. No, because see, they had to get out of sight so the next man wouldn't see it so they could get the next tow truck in there. It was a scam. It was a straight up scam. They shouldn't be there. But that don't have nothing to oh. do with them, though. That's what they're... <laughs> exactly. Oh, get out of here. Exactly. That don't have nothing to do so with them. How many people... How many people are not putting up that argument? Let's just say you tow 10 cars a day. Nine of those people ain't going to put up an argument. They're just going to pay whatever you say to get their car back because they're going to court for whatever reason. And, and, and they, now they're going to run in late for work. They're running late for the babysitter or whatever the reason. Man, I ain't got time for all this, man. How much you say, man? Okay, boom. They pay it. Now you get that one person. One person calls the police, the police come and get involved in everything. That one person may only have to pay uh, the hookup fee, but they ain't going to get the car back. Then, you know, they ain't going to just give them back the car. But, you know, the, the tow truck company is going to get something out of them. But until they start doing what they're doing now with these guys, the tow truck companies, man, they was just running rampant in Memphis with that stuff, man. If a sign said no parking, I'm just driving a tow truck out. Oh, no parking. The car parks there. Cool. I'm going to hook to it. That's the way that they work. They, they that's, didn't that's have no scam. contracts, no nothing. That was, yes. That's that scam. But like I said, it's something. Oh, man. I, I should have. I should have been at a book game back in the day. I was close. I was close. I was close to getting the uh, tow truck. I, I, you know what? I'm still am going to get a tow truck. But. Yeah, just imagine the the hustle, the the hustle game I would have put down back in the day, man. Come on, I missed all of that. I got booted in a Walmart in Kentucky a couple of years ago, and I had to pay five hundred dollars. The same thing, security guard rolled up on me. I, you know, I, I, he knocked on my door. He put one of those barnacles on my windshield. I, he knocked on the door. I get out the truck which I thought it was illegal to boot a vehicle while the person was in it, but not in Kentucky. It ain't. And when I get up, it truck, don't seem like it's there. anywhere, bro. That, no. You could be, you, you <laughs> could be in the, you, listen, you could be in the truck and your truck would get lifted. So it doesn't matter whether oh, you in the really. truck or not, my guy. Man. But it, the thing was, man, dude was standing there when I jumped out. He had on a, uh, a bulletproof vest. He had on, uh, he had his hat turned to the back and he had a uh, body cam on and he had his hand on his gun and he's talking about, yeah, you're illegally parked, yada, yada, yada. And you got to pay $500 to get that off. And I'm like, what? You know, so he kept saying, I was like, what, what why you put that on there? And, you know, so. I went and got the manager at the Walmart involved in this and the manager comes out there and he was like, okay, here's the deal. 
I'm the night manager. The store manager, the store manager set up something with these guys. I don't like it. I don't approve it. I can't do nothing about it, though, because that's the store manager. Okay. Um, but you do have free parking as long as you've been here for an hour. I mean, you know, no, no more than an hour if you bought something up in a store. So he said, did you buy it? I said, yeah, man, I bought like $40 worth of stuff, man. You got the receipt. Man, I go digging first. Bruh, I've been there for an hour and 20 minutes. One hour and 20 minutes. So apparently the guy that, the guy that put the barnacle on my truck, he was sitting there and watched and saw that once one hour had passed and I didn't move, then he put the thing on there. So, you know, I'm asking for where's the signs and where's the sign? He tells me, he says, oh, there's signs. There used to be signs all over the parking lot, but. Got you about yeah. 20 minutes, bro. I don't have State Farm, but insurance, find me money. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. Oh, okay. So you, I, so you, you yourself paid that. I paid that on credit card. I called the eight hundred number and paid it on the credit card. I wasn't even getting my company involved in that. Okay, okay. Now, do you? Well, of course, when you do get your company involved, they they will pay, but you know you're gonna have to come out of the pocket of your settlements too. Oh yeah, to you're gonna pay that. too. Man, A1 yeah. out in Mississippi. Memphis, Memphis. Memphis. Out in Southeast Memphis. Southeast Memphis, Tennessee. Watch out for them drivers. A1 is, is targeting you drivers. Be careful where you park that. Make sure that you, you, you find the signs. If you look <laughs> and the sign ain't there, look again. Put on some glasses so you can find Man. that bad boy. <laughs> because if you don't. Man, I'll be hot as old fish grease if I go in there to use the bathroom and come out my truck on a lift. Yes. Be because mad. if you don't. And if you go into a store, drivers, and the store says park at your own risk, bro, turn Man, your ass go back go around. Get in, <laughs> get in that get in truck, truck and keep on and going. Keep on going. <laughs> Because it ain't worth it. It ain't no, worth it. Man. it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth the time. It ain't worth the degradation. It ain't worth the stress. That's the, We man. already know that parking for us is problematic. You know, hopefully the government would get involved. But they've been trying to get involved for years. But you still got... You, you, you still got scam tow trucking companies like A1 in Memphis, Tennessee and Triple S Towing in North Carolina, you know, is it's it's crazy. So we are going to let you guys we going to go ahead and end it right here. And uh drivers y'all take it easy. Well, I got a question for you, man, and just out of curiosity, man, because uh, when they got firearms on them and they take your vehicle, so much as like in the other instances where they Wait, I, I think I know the where you. I think I think I know where you're going with this. Is that uh uh what do you call armed it? Rob robbery. Armed robbery. Yes. That should. Bro, I, 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 that's much worse I, than that gotta be. That gotta be. That gotta be armed. That that gotta be armed robbery. Yeah. Because they're using the gun. Like I said before, they're not using it for protection. They're using it for intimidation. And then in this case, the dude, the dude was physically removed from the truck. So that could and be armed down by and guy. held down by another guy. And that could be. A case for armed robbery right there. So, yeah. Oh, man, I and think assault so. with a daily weapon. I, oh, oh, e e even more. So, we'll, we'll see, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll try to follow this story. You know, if you follow it, let me, you know, keep me posted. Big G's got it locked. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you let me real way? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G?
Tell you